Hi children, today we are going to discuss about the lab activity. This lab activity belongs to the chapter 2 respiration. It is a very important lab activity in this chapter. What is that? Some experiments with yeast. With the help of the yeast, we are going to do this lab activity. What is the aim of this lab activity? Aim. What is the aim of this lab activity children to show that to show that heat and carbon dioxide are produced under anaerobic respiration this is the aim of the experiment what is the aim of this experiment to show that heat and carbon dioxide are produced under anaerobic respiration children once again i remind you about the respiration respiration is of two types one is aerobic respiration second one is anaerobic respiration in this lab activity we are going to prove anaerobic respiration not aerobic respiration see here this is the anaerobic respiration we should prove anaerobic respiration only not aerobic respiration before going to discuss about the lab activity once again i remind you about the types of respiration that is aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration definitions of aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration what is aerobic respiration the respiration which occurs in the presence of oxygen is called as aerobic respiration next what is anaerobic respiration the respiration which occurs in the absence of oxygen is called anaerobic respiration in this lab activity we are going to prove anaerobic respiration in the absence of oxygen respiration is taking place that is called as anaerobic respiration what happens in the anaerobic respiration once again we remind what is that in the anaerobic respiration glucose molecule breaks down in the absence of oxygen in the absence of O2. O2 means what? Oxygen. Glucose molecule is broken down in the absence of oxygen. And what are the products are formed? Alcohol. Alcohol is formed. Alcohol. It is also called as ethanol. ethanol is commonly called as alcohol next what is the product carbon dioxide is formed next energy also produced energy energy is produced in the form of heat heat energy is produced this respiration is called as anaerobic respiration why we are calling as anaerobic respiration because it is taking place in the absence of oxygen what is happening here glucose breaks down and what will be produced ethanol or alcohol carbon dioxide and heat energy is produced see here carbon dioxide and heat energy Carbon dioxide and heat energy is produced in anaerobic respiration. That only we are going to prove. See here, to show that heat and carbon dioxide. Heat and carbon dioxide we are going to prove in this activity. In this lab activity, we are going to take the help of one living organism. What is that? That is the yeast. yeast do you know children about the yeast what do you know about the yeast yeast is a unicellular organism unicellular organism unicellular means what it is made up of single cell 
इट इज ए सिंगल सेल्ड ऑर्गेनिजम लाइक अमीबा लाइक क्लाइमिडोमोनास लाइक बैक्टीरिया इट इज ऑल्सो मेड अप ऑफ सिंगल सेल दट ऑल सिंगल सेल्ड ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर कॉल्ड यूनिसेलर एंड इट इज ए फंगस 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 इट्स नॉट ए बैक्टीरिया इट्स नॉट ए ऑलगे इट इज ए फंगस यूनिसेलर फंगस नेक्स्ट वेर डू इट ग्रोस जनरली वाइल्ड ईस्ट ग्रोस ऑन द स्किन ऑफ एपल्स एंड ग्रेप्स ऑन द स्किन ऑफ एपल्स एंड ग्रेप्स जनरली वी कैन सी द ईस्ट फ्रॉम दीज फ्रूट्स ईस्ट कैन ऑब्जर्व द फूड सप्लाइज फूड मेटेरियल्स और ग्लूकोज मेटेरियल्स फ्रॉम द एपल्स एंड ग्रेप्स artificially also we can grow the yeast in our laboratory how by supplying the glucose solution glucose solution we have to supply the glucose in solution then only it can grow because glucose solution is the food of the yeast that's why we have to take the glucose solution in the petri dish in the laboratory and we have to add the yeast then it grows rapidly so this is the information regarding the yeast yeast is a unicellular fungus wild yeast grows on the skins of apples and grapes artificially also we can grow the yeast yeast grows rapidly in glucose solution with the help of the yeast now we are going to prove the activity that is anaerobic respiration now let us start our activity this is the thermos flask what it is thermos flask we have to take the thermos flask like this next we have to for the glucose solution this is the glucose solution we are taking into the thermos flask what it is children glucose solution we should take the glucose solution in the thermos flask what is our lab activity we are proving the anaerobic respiration children remember anaerobic respiration we should not supply the oxygen respiration which takes place in the absence of oxygen then that is called anaerobic respiration but here in glucose solution oxygen is present oxygen is present in the dissolved form dissolved oxygen is present in the glucose solution that's why it is not possible to prove the anaerobic respiration that's why we should remove the dissolved oxygen from the glucose solution why children because in the glucose solution dissolved oxygen is present dissolved oxygen dissolved oxygen dissolved o2 is present in the glucose solution now we have to remove the dissolved oxygen from the glucose solution how how do you remove the oxygen from the glucose solution here one technique is there we have to heat we have to heat the glucose solution for 1 minute heat the glucose solution for 1 minute then cooling without shaking without shaking okay children heat the glucose solution for 1 minute then immediately cool down so when you are cooling the glucose solution you should not shake the glucose solution why why you should not shake the glucose solution because when you are shaking the glucose solution oxygen may enter into the glucose solution that's why we should not shake the glucose solution in this way we are removing the dissolved oxygen from the glucose solution still you may have doubt sir there may be oxygen in the glucose solution you are saying oxygen is removed but there may be there that may be there oxygen may be there in the glucose solution how can we believe 
so to check that one technique is there here we have to take the help of one solution that is called as what is that diazin green diazin green solution or it is also called as janus green b solution diazin green solution or janus green b solution its color is blue color it is a blue colored dye it is a blue colored dye which solution diazin green solution or janus green b solution its color is blue it is a blue dye it is a blue colored dye so now take the diazin green solution and add into the glucose solution then this blue dye turns into the pink color then blue dye turns into the pink when blue color turns into the pink what do you understand it indicate the absence of oxygen in glucose solution it indicate the very short supply of oxygen very short little amount that is negligible that means equal to the absence only so this blue dye turns into the pink color by that we understood that oxygen is removed from the glucose solution put yeast cells into the glucose solution put in some yeast into the glucose solution next what we have to do see here this is the empty place present in the thermos flask and this is the glucose solution this is the empty place in this empty place air is present children you know that air is a mixture of gases in that oxygen also there that means in this empty place oxygen may be there oxygen also present this oxygen may be enters into the glucose solution when we are keeping this apparatus for many hours for one day in that period this oxygen may enters into the glucose solution that's why we have to prevent the entry of oxygen into the glucose solution what you will do for that for that we have to pour the paraffin liquid paraffin liquid paraffin liquid onto the glucose solution see this is the paraffin liquid paraffin liquid how much you can pour onto the glucose solution up to 1 cm thickness pour the paraffin liquid onto the glucose solution up to 1 cm thickness by pouring the paraffin liquid we can cut off the oxygen supply from here to here so now oxygen cannot enters into the glucose solution so this is the use of paraffin liquid this is the mouth of the thermos flask in this mouth we have to keep the cork splitted cork splitted cork we have to keep splitted cork this is the splitted cork in that two holes are present through the one hole we have to insert the thermometer we should insert the thermometer through the one hole and through the another hole what we have to insert one tube one u shaped tube we have to insert through the hole which is present in the cork now let me draw we have to arrange the apparatus like this for this experiment in this apparatus this is the thermometer we should insert the thermometer through the hole which is present in the cork we should insert the thermometer into the thermos flask thermometer bulb should dip inside the glucose solution it should be dip inside the glucose solution then only we will get the reading from the thermometer next this is the thermometer next this is the glass tube this is the u shaped tube one end of the tube should be inside the thermos flask and the next end should be inside the wash bottle children it is the wash bottle in the wash bottle we have to take lime water 
lime water is also called as bicarbonate solution or it is also called as indicator solution indicator solution or bicarbonate solution or lime water we should take the lime water into the wash bottle so this is a u shaped tube its one end should be in the thermos flask and another end should be in the lime water next this apparatus as it is we have to keep undisturbed for one day or two days as well as we have to warm up we have to warm up this apparatus up to 37 degrees celsius to speed up the test to speed up the test we should warm up this apparatus up to the 37 degree celsius we have to keep this apparatus as it is without disturbance for one or two days after two days when we observed then what do you observe tell me what happens so when you see in the wash body lime water is there this lime water turns into milky lime water turns into milky milky white it indicates the production of carbon dioxide in this experiment when lime water turns into milky that indicates the production of carbon dioxide in this lab activity next if you check the thermometer reading thermometer mercury level mercury level increases this increased level of mercury indicates the production of heat energy production of heat in this experiment next if you see the smell of glucose solution yeast and glucose mixture solution then you can see alcohol smell it will give alcohol smell so from that you may confirm that alcohol is produced in this experiment and by this thermometer when you see the thermometer reading by that you can understand heat is produced in this experiment and when lime water turns into milky then you understand that carbon dioxide is produced in this experiment actually what happens here yeast already we have taken in the glucose solution we added the yeast this yeast cells undergoes anaerobic respiration and they convert the glucose solution they convert the glucose solution into alcohol in the anaerobic respiration simultaneously carbon dioxide also releases and heat also releases carbon dioxide is produced and heat also produced this carbon dioxide moves through the tube and finally it will enters into the wash bottle and reaches to the lime water then with the effect of carbon dioxide this lime water turns into milky next heat is produced by the heat this mercury level in the thermometer increases by this experiment we proved that in the anaerobic respiration heat and carbon dioxide are produced heat and carbon dioxide are produced under anaerobic respiration thank you children